This is Roofer and Roofer 2. Soon they will birth thousands of pigs. I had a video idea to breed the world record amount of pigs, but then I noticed how much lag it creates and thought, why not do it on a Minecraft server because that's just funny. Like how would someone react when they log on and just see a tsunami of pigs? But nobody can know what I'm up to right now because yesterday my friend Planet Lord was taken to court for just 200 chickens. I want 10,000. That's why my base is a secret giant pig. Yeah, I didn't think that one through. But for every pig we want, we need twice the amount of carrots. Because you feed them both, one, two, then boom, baby pig in the morning. It's just like humans and alcohol. So at a faraway base, I'm constructing the Carrot Empire. It's four of these villager farming cells stacked on top of each other five times. Now, each villager can only harvest and replant 90 carrots an hour, but with all these cells working at once, we can get 43,200 a day. I could show you how annoying it was to build and how uncooperative my unpaid labor laborers were, but we have more pressing matters to attend to. My pig is being shot! There's a rivaling base across from mine, and they just have a gun now. This reminds me of like King Kong and Godzilla, it's just pig and capybara? But don't worry, I know exactly what will stop a bullet. A shield! Yeah, probably should have thought about that one a little bit longer, but we can't let the side plot of the video distract us. We need to expand the pig pen. It's been slowly growing as I've been breeding more pigs, but I can't expand the fence as fast as they need it to. Oh, why do I need to be fast? Because the pigs are currently squishing each other to death. <laughs> Oh no! So we need a new pig pen, which is going to be an underground box. It's not pretty, but it's perfect. Well, take perfect and minus one, that's how good it is. It keeps our pigs hidden from being killed, but at the same time, it keeps them in an area where a lot of people are. When players walk into spawn, I want them to load in thousands of pigs, which is just going to ruin their game. Now the pen isn't complete or even safe, but I want to start breeding the pigs in it. I'm wasting a lot of time running over to a farm to fix my pickaxe, but I know when you breed pigs, you get disappointed appointment, but also experience that can repair it. My pigs have a fun trip. They may think pushing them is dangerous or ignorant, but last time I checked, pigs can't sue. Wait, what the? But now that we have thousands of carrots in a safe place for the pigs, we can start breeding overdrive. Because the pigs can only give birth every five minutes, once I've bred them all, I just sit here. Maybe it's good I have some free time because we have a big issue. Or a pig issue, because the capybara threw an axe at my shield! I feel like right now we're kindergartners trying to one-up each other. So in the same vein of childish logic, I'm using the axe to chop down a tree that will fall on the capybara. Checkmate! Also, I built the tree during an online college lecture. Never in my life have I questioned more what am I doing with myself. Well, breeding pigs, of course. At this point, we are at maximum velocity. If I had infinite carrots, I could just right click and run around. So I pulled my teammate Planet Lord into this mess to increase the amount of pigs we can breed. After an hour of a straight breeding, we have a lot of pigs. Do you agree that this is a lot? Because if you do, you're completely wrong. This is barely anything compared to what we end with. But maybe we do have too many pigs because they're starting to trample each other even with all this free space. Now I've turned on this FPS tracker for you to look at for the rest of the video. The laggier the game gets, the lower the number goes. You can see when we go closer to the pigs, it's a noticeable drop. Maybe too noticeable because there's one server member who noticed and is about to change all our plans. 3,000 entities. I cannot let him find those 3,000 entities, but how do I do that without making me look suspicious? Well, I help him find those 3,000 entities. So when Pengi thought he saw a redstone contraption, hmm, Pengi, I wonder where that redstone contraption is. Oh, Pengi, let me destroy it for you. Maybe this is the cause of the lag. Oh, really? This wasn't the source of the lag? Maybe it's your video settings because I'm not lagging at all. Maybe you just need to avoid spawn for a bit. I'm going to go to my pig base and sit there and do nothing else. Now, was that morally correct? No, but like, I'm trying to get banned, so it's going to help me get closer to it. But I don't want to get caught just yet because I want way more pigs. So to decrease the amount of lag for now so they're less noticeable, we are spreading the pigs apart. I mined out a hole for the beacon beam to turn on again so we could mine out the pig pen even larger. Then the paranoia set in. People are sending messages in Discord. Maybe they're about me. The server owner logs on. He must have heard about my pigs. I get a personal message from a server member. Surely he's about to tell me he knows my secret. My teammate Planet Lord tried to tell me whatever happens happens, but frick that, this is all going wrong. But none of those things led to me getting caught. It was my own stupidity. When you're trying to keep something secret, you should never have a giant beacon that goes, Hey, there's something down here. Because people will look. What are you up to? <laughs> um, I'm 
I'm working on a project, you could say. So this is these are the three thousand entities. I yeah. assume, right? Yeah, they are. But actually it's more five thousand at this point. You just can't load them all at the same time. <laughs> uh, okay. Um why? Yeah, just a one word question really stumped me. Even while editing this video, I still don't know why. It was to just show that we can be evil, but honestly, it's just fun. You're gonna crash the server. No. 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 No, we're smart about it. We're, we're spreading them out, as you see. Oh, We're giving yeah, them yeah. their free range pigs. Mm -hmm. Look how much space oh, how they much? have. It's so spacious. Yeah, yeah, it looks pretty spacious. They're just like hanging out like together. That's why they're Why cramped. are they all here? Like they could, they could spread out if they wanted to. We're giving them the ah, option. They have right. the freedom of space, as written fair, in the Constitution. Wait, hold up. Is this one bloodline? Did this start with two pigs? Uh, yeah, Roofer and Roofer too. It's like Adam and Eve. <laughs> a lot of inbreeding. Bro, you know what? I'm really curious what you're gonna do with a million pigs. Um, I'm gonna leave you for now. Oh my goodness, I can't believe we got out of this. Pingy's just like us, morbidly curious how far we can take this prank. And I wanna take it far, so pigs, we need you to spread the frick out. I'm expanding their pen, but man, they sure love their groups, but they just gotta get apart from each other. I also found that pigs love their high ground. Every time there's a block they can jump on, they just go crazy for it. But today, I was a breeding machine. Funnily enough, that's what they called me back in high school. At the end of the day, we have enough pigs to take us down to 10 frames per second. You can't even have them loaded in at once, but we have 10,000 pigs. But I have bred so many, we are officially out of carrots. The carrot empire is great, but it isn't fast enough to satiate my greed for carrots because it only works when I'm near it. So I found a new design. Compared to the Empire's 43,200 carats a day, this produces 50,000 an hour. To get that many carats, it must be a giant machine with all these complex parts. This is it. This is the machine. It just requires a lot of bone meal so it can grow the carrots faster. So while I'm sleeping, I'm going to be sitting at this machine that produces it. Please watch my pigs for me while I'm gone. Like, who actually did this? This is horrible. It's Jaren. Oh Jaren my gosh. Yeah, yeah, For what Jaren. reason? So why it's hasn't mad. anybody this else killed work. them? Oh wow, it's getting bad. It's oh my done. god. Wait, where is it? Is it negative 14, 14 frames, I found it. Oh my gosh. What the heck, bro? Dude, there are too many. Yeah, there's too many to kill, bro. Like legit, we need lava or something. <laughs> Look at Wait, all what the if fire. We, what if we spawn a wither in here? Yeah. Oh. What if I just stand right here? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. oh bring my bring gosh, it, bring oh bring my it. gosh, oh, bro, you're gonna get entity grabbed, you're gonna get entity grabbed. We should have grabbed lava and used the carrots. Yeah, wait, 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 do you have fire res? Oh, you use fire res to all the pigs, may pick. Oh, yeah, you, oh, my gosh. dude, come over here, dude. Why am I back down to 30 frames? Because look at this area. Oh my God. <laughs> There's 3,000 more, more over There's here. There's a lot more. Uh... What's funny though is Jaren probably spent like 20 hours getting all of these and we oh, just exterminated sure. them in like 45 minutes. minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, if this is his next video, this is gonna, it's gonna be an interesting one. What the frick? I leave you with the pigs for 12 hours and you lose them all. Maybe if you subscribed, I'd forgive you, but come on, you had one job. Well, either way, whatever happens, happens. So we are going to pick up the pieces and keep going. We need more pigs. But the opposition is growing. Just this day, a player named Rochambeau and his teammate attacked us. But Rochambeau's reaction after killing us doesn't make any sense. See, on the server, if someone kills you, they steal your heart. Hearts are valuable because if you lose all of them, you're banned off the server. But when I got back to spawn, Ro gave the heart back to me. I can't say for certain why Rochambeau did this, but I have a theory. They think by killing me, they won. My pigs are dead and it's all over. Frick you, this isn't. This is when my plan changed. I'm now going in with the goal of getting banned. See, they're telling me to stop breeding pigs, but I'm gonna keep going. They're gonna tell me to stop so much that they're like, we're gonna ban you if you keep breeding more. And then I breed more. But that means we're gonna have to change our strategy up. 
Starting over with two pigs is very inefficient because we breed them, get another, but now we're waiting five minutes for them to be able to breed again. So the new plan is instead of being quantity annoying, we are going to be quality annoying. If you go down to where the old pigs used to be and go behind this wall, there's a secret tunnel. This leads to our starting set of pigs, who are enough to get us back to thousands quickly. I keep them hidden down here so we can one, never get reset back to zero, and two, they are right next to the carrot farm. Then if you remember, pigs like going up blocks, so they'll slowly trickle up to the old pig pen. That didn't really work as well as I'd like it to though, so I'm luring them up with carrots. Taking them to the old pig pen is risky. If people notice lag, they'll come down, kill the pigs, and probably me as well. But we just need them alive for like an hour. So I got my teammate Planet Lord and my other teammate Bacon Waffles to help breed late at night. This is my favorite part of breeding pigs though. We'd breed them all, play a round of GeoGuessr, go back to breeding, play more GeoGuessr, lose to Bacon Waffles, yeah, he's really good. But once we had enough pigs and my teammates wanted to go to bed, we put them into action by sending them up the pig cano. My children are everywhere! It's comical how many pigs are just filling spawn. This is a tsunami! But this isn't enough! I need more. I want people to log on in the morning and go, what's the deal with all these pigs? So I spread pigs out all over spawn, made banners to decorate the area and to make it look more concentrated, I made mini pig pens that are just overflowing. Then I fell asleep. It was 2 a.m. and I had a 40 minute uphill bike ride to college in the morning. Once class was over and I got home, they're all gone. What we did is enough to get us banned, so what do we do now? Start on the next attack. See, one little pig attack isn't going to get me banned, it's more of a nuisance. But two attacks, now you start to see a pattern of messing with spawn and others cleaning it up. And I know it takes a while because Prince Zam made an entire commentary video while killing the pig, which is what I originally thought until he posted two more and this isn't going to be the last of them. So attack two is complete, furnished with giant pig statues, which will hopefully make the cleanup process take longer, meaning people are more annoyed. Then again, I went to sleep, biked to college, but then came back to some life-changing news. Jaren, 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 bro, Jaren. Hi, what's happening, bro? Jaren just needed to get on to see that Mapic and Rose sculpt the pig statues. Kinda boring. <laughs> yeah, I logged on. Turns out Rochambeau just made Spawn more of a mess. Oh no, I'm terrified. How could they do the same thing I'm doing? Then Rochambeau wanted my teammates and I to follow them through a mysterious portal. Yeah, they tried to trap us. That didn't work. I know I want people to be so bothered that they kill me off the server, but come on, you can do better than that. Like as Planet Lord said, whatever happens, happens. So them getting their butt kicked is gonna happen. Yeah, then once Ro logged off, I was right where you'd expect me to be. Attack 3. Once again, 2am, I went to bed, back to college, and then when I was back, most of the pigs were gone. Now I say most because I caught Prince Sam in the middle of, let's just say, making a commentary video. But this is also also proof of our biggest problem. No matter how many pigs I breed, it's always going to be faster to kill them. So that's why I went into a creative world and constructed this obsidian monstrosity that I want to plonk in the middle of spawn. Now it isn't a real pig, but it's going to take way more time to take down than it does for me to build it. This should finally get them annoyed enough to ban me. Once I was done building it, I filled it with pigs and wrote everyone a little message for them to see in the morning. Then for the last time, I went to bed at 2am and biked to college because when I got back, they took the bait. You and me, one verse one tonight. Loser gets banned. It's time to end this once and for all. The duel is in 20 hours, and I believe this will be my last 20 hours on the server. In terms of fighting, Rochambeau has been ranked in B tier while I'm in E. I'm an E tier player. I think this duel is gonna be it for me. So I wanted to spend my last 20 hours on the server well. I bred pigs, it's like all I know, what else am I supposed to do? But this did spark an idea. See, I want to do this duel, but I don't want to end the video with, oh, I died. Instead, I want to go out doing the thing I love. So the plan is, after the fight, they will have my spawn set at this bed. They'll have to kill me a few times to fully ban me off, but when they try to do that, Planet will break the bed and I'll respawn, not at the bed, but at the main spawn. What's in spawn? My pigs, so I can breed them for the rest of my life. Oh, and that pig base, let's just say I got a little package for it. But time is up, the duel is here. It's a weird feeling. My goal has been to get banned this entire time, but I'm gonna miss the server for a bit. Then mix that feeling with nervousness for one, the fight, but also two, our secret getaway plan. So it was awkward talking to Ro and others, so we just jumped into the fight.
Okay, 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 that doesn't matter. We saw that coming. Either way, we still have our little scheme to help me escape and go breed more pigs. But when I respawned, Planet Lord didn't break the bed. So I pull up Discord, spamming Planet, but he's not receiving the messages. So to stall, I'm like, oh, before I get banned, let's do a speech. I already gave my speech, Planet, answer me. But after the most obvious three minutes of awkward stalling, I was mid-messaging Planet, so... Oh no, it didn't work! He's so sorry! No, 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 just buy me time, just buy me time! Oh, that was a ban! Uh, well, this was the ending I was looking for, but not how I expected it to go. But you know what? Whatever happens, happens. Good night, everybody. See you later.